To access SpeechMap, right-click the mouse to raise a home prompt and select SpeechMap from either on-ear or test box. At its core, SpeechMap is an audibility mapping system used to verify the sensation level of amplified signals to ensure audibility while avoiding discomfort for loud sounds. For on-ear or test box setup instructions, please see the Verifit 2 user guide. First, select the type of hearing instrument that is being measured. In test box mode, this will ensure the proper mic location effect is added to the test signal and introduce the proper coupler conversions for the measurement. For BTE hearing aids, there are multiple selections, depending on how the instruments are coupled in the test box. Choose receiver in the ear for BTEs coupled to the 0.4 cc couplers using the thin tube brick adapter. Choose BTE plus HA4 for BTEs coupled using the HA4 ear mold substitute. Choose BTE plus mold for BTEs where the client's personal ear mold is attached and puttied to the 0.4 cc coupler. Choose BAHD if you are verifying a bone anchored hearing device using the optional VeriFit skull simulator. If BAHD is selected, SpeechMap measures output in dB force level and makes use of dial level hearing thresholds. In test box mode, selecting the hearing instrument coupling and venting characteristics applies a venting simulation to improve simulated real ear measurement accuracy for vented fittings. This venting simulation accounts for the total overall SPL that will be measured at the eardrum via the combined effects of amplified sound being vented from the ear canal and direct environmental sound entering the ear canal through the vent. Select whether the hearing and spring coupling is a mold or custom earpiece or is an instant fit dome or sleeve. Next, select the venting characteristics. If mold slash custom is selected, venting can be set as none, occluded, small, medium, large, or open. If dome slash sleeve is selected, venting can be set as none, power slash double, closed, semi-open, or open. Choose the coupling and venting option that best represents the client's earpiece for the current hearing instrument fitting. Note that the none vent condition does not apply any vent simulation and results in equivalent test box measurements to 4.22 or earlier software versions. In on-ear mode, select whether the coupling to the ear is occluding or open. If open is selected, you will be guided through a stored sound field equalization procedure when a test signal is played. Before beginning real ear measurement, select ambient level check to measure the ambient noise level in the room to ensure room noise will not adversely affect the speech input levels you will be testing. Select audiometry. Choose the desired fitting formula from the drop-down list. Note that the selectable options in subsequent drop-down menus are dependent on the fitting formula selected. If DSL Child or Now Lanl 2 are chosen, a selectable age menu will appear. This represents the age-appropriate data used for various transforms, particularly RECD. Choose the HL transducer that was used for audiometry. Select from Headphone, Insert plus Foam, Insert plus Mold, Loudspeaker with various azimuths, and ABR EHL or NHL data. If ABR NHL is selected, a toggle will appear for choosing an ABR conversion. If Insert plus Foam or Insert plus Mold is selected, choose whether an average RECD, an entered RECD, or a measured RECD will be used. If enter or measure is selected, indicate in the RECD coupling dropdown whether a foam tip or the client's ear mold was used during the real ear portion of the RECD. If headphone is selected, you can additionally choose whether an average RECD, entered RECD, or a measured RECD will be used for audiometric conversion. For fitting formulas that provide a binaural summation correction, set binaural to yes if a left and right hearing instrument is being verified. Set binaural to no if only one device is being verified. Note that for now NL2, setting binaural to yes means that you'll be required to enter hearing thresholds at 500 Hz and 2 kHz for both ears for targets to appear. Now NL2 also provides a language menu. Select tonal or non-tonal based on the client's native language and the associated primary input language of interest. Select the check mark to continue. Enter the audiometry data, DBHL thresholds, bone conduction thresholds, and uncomfortable loudness levels can be entered by clicking on the variable of interest and then clicking in the graph area. If the client's hearing is symmetrical or nearly symmetrical, the copy button can be used to transfer data to the other ear. The X button can be used to clear data as required. Select the check mark to continue. Note that the AudioScan NOAA module can also be used to transfer audiometric data. SpeechMap converts the DBHL data to DBSPL at the eardrum. Right ear DBSPL hearing thresholds are displayed with circles and are shown in red. 
Left ear DBSPL hearing thresholds are displayed with X's and are shown in blue. DBSPL UCLs are shown with asterisks, which are connected via a line when UCL data has been entered. For reference, the minimum audible pressure curve is shown via the dashed line, representing normal 0 dBHL hearing thresholds in DBSPL at the eardrum. Select left, right, or select both for simultaneous binaural measurements. You can use probe guide to assist in probe tube placement prior to any on-ear measurement. To start a test, you can either use the play buttons beside test 1 through 4, or select the automatic test sequencing button. The tests that are automatically run can be configured in the automatic test sequencing menu. Click the play button for test 1 to start a test. Select a stimulus type from the dropdown. If verifying to a fitting formula, you will need to select a calibrated speech stimulus option, such as speech standard female or ISTS for targets to appear. Stimuli can be added or removed from the drop-down list. Select the check mark beside a stimulus to add it to the stimulus list in SpeechMap. After selecting the desired stimulus type, note that the level options depend on the stimulus type selected. If verifying a hearing instrument's telecoil output, select the drop-down arrow. The source can be changed from an acoustic to an inductive stimulus. Teletest is for telephone magnetic field stimulator verification using the Teletest handset accessory. T-loop is for verifying the telecoil performance for a hearing loop using the loop embedded in the test box floor. When Teletest is selected, the bandwidth dropdown can be set to Telephone, TB, to simulate a typical telephone signal bandwidth from 300 Hz to 3300 Hz or to a full input bandwidth. Once the desired stimulus and level have been chosen, select Record to capture a real ear aided response. If a calibrated speech input signal is selected, level specific targets will display. Typically, the verification goal is to adjust the hearing instrument programming so that the middle thicker LTAS line approximates the corresponding color coded target it crosses as closely as possible. Upon completion of the test recording, the LTAS line and speech envelope is displayed in the graph. The top of the speech region is the SPL exceeded 1% of the time, the 99th percentile, and the bottom of the speech region is the SPL exceeded 70% of the time, the 30th percentile. This range will change with talkers and will be reduced by syllabic compressors clearly showing the effects of adjustments to the compression parameters. In addition, a predicted unaided speech envelope at the tested input level can be hidden or shown for comparison to the corresponding aided speech envelope. The aided response can also be hidden or set to hide the envelope and only show the LTAS. Proceed to make additional measurements by selecting Start Test, choosing the desired test signal and level, and selecting Record. For a typical hearing aid fitting, hearing aid output response is measured for soft, average, and loud input levels. The maximum power output should also be measured to verify that loud sounds do not exceed the client's predicted or measured uncomfortable loudness levels, as represented by the asterisks. For DSL-5, additional targets will also appear for the MPO stimulus, which should be matched as closely as possible across the frequencies. If desired, the speech map graph scale can be set to display delta target for more precise fine-tuning of a test response to its associated prescriptive targets. Select DB retarget to view delta target. Each measured test with prescriptive targets is replotted on a zoomed in graph scale, showing its delta or difference in DB from targets. In delta target view, prescriptive targets are flattened across the zero DB line. The goal is to simply aim to match the colored test curve to the zero DB line in the center of the target crosses. Doing so results in a perfect match to target across frequencies for the input level being used. Autobars show SII or RMSE values. Autobars for measured or aided data are the same color as the corresponding test curve. Gray autobars show the predicted unaided SII or the unaided RMSE for the same input and speech level and can be used for counseling and comparison purposes. If the fitting formula is set to DSL adult and autobars are toggled to show RMSE, the normative RMSE range for the client's peer tone average will display for input levels of 55, 65, and 75. As with SII, if the end of the autobar falls between the two vertical lines, the RMSE value is within the research validated normative range for the hearing loss. If the fitting formula is set to DSL child or DSL adult and autobars are toggled to show SII, SII target ranges will display for input levels of 50. 55, 65, and in addition at 75 for DSL adult, indicating a normative SII range for the client's peer tone average.
If the end of the autobar falls between the two vertical lines, the SII is within the research-validated normative range for the hearing loss. If the SII autobar is clicked, the quick access SII counseling graph is displayed. If additional patient counseling support is desired, the speech map counseling tool can be accessed by clicking the counseling button. View the counseling tool screen tour video for more information on the feature. Speech map tests can be set to display as comparison tests. This can be helpful when you want to quickly compare hearing aid measurements. For instance, when matching the output of a new device to an old device or at a follow-up appointment. Comparison tests can be configured using the AudioScan NOAA module, Session Restore, or via the Speech Map test menu. To set a current test as a comparison test within Speech Map, select the three dots to see menu options and select Set Test as Comparison. The comparison test data is displayed in a lighter shade of the color associated with the test slot, both on the speech map graph and in the autobar. Setting a test as a comparison frees up the associated test slot to run as a new measurement. Select Play in the same test slot to measure a new test. This new test must use the same stimulus and level as the comparison test. The measured tests and the comparison tests are overlaid on the graph, and the associated RMSE or SII values are shown side by side in separate autobars, allowing comparison data to be used as a guide. The comparison test can be erased by clicking Clear Comparison Test. Likewise, the current measured test can be erased by clicking Clear Current Test. If desired, the speech map graph scale can be set to display delta comparison for easier fine tuning of a test response to match a comparison test. Select DB Recomp to view delta comparison. Each measured test with an associated comparison test is replotted on a zoomed-in graph scale to show its delta, or difference in dB, from the comparison test. The dashed line across 0 dB is your comparison test response, and the colored test curve is your measured speech map curve that is fine-tuned to match the comparison test. To see the test results and associated audiometric data in either single or dual graph or table form, select the View and Format icon and choose the desired option. For more information on SpeechMap, please see the Verifit2 user guide.